Hello, this is Grogan again. Uh, I've been given a request by rocket scientist on the Rat Rat forums. He wants to know more about my rat strap. Or well, in my case, it's just a 3D printer with a extruder in the effector. So I thought I might give a quick tour of what I'm doing and why I've done doing things the way I can or am doing. Or I can just easily go and ask some local rat wrapper to print me out some hollow parts for some rat wrap. Right, we'll start off with the uh, Y axis. This here's got the Y axis. Of course, it's the extruder which I'm working on. And it's just a, an A4 flatbed scanner which I've hacked, ripped apart, and got up moving with using uh, Rep Rep Electronics. It uses an Opto end stop which is fixed at this point. So we've got a fixed opto end stop and the carriage with a flag on it. I mean, for two flatbed scans for five dollars New Zealand, what a deal! And this here is the x-axis. This is a little higher in gear ratio than the y-axis. Uh, it's got a high gear ratio down there. And it did have a object in stop, but because it's on the, the sensor parts on the moving part of the bed, uh, it didn't work out too well. So I have switched to using a micro switch. Uh, it does have an object in stop. That was a bit of work I was doing on before. Here I've got uh, just a regular ATX power supply. I didn't have one laying about, so I went to the computer shop and bought one. It was originally going to go down here, but I um, don't have enough space at the moment. I'll see how I can work that out. It's a work in progress. And we got a full set of rep map electronics. Uh, all bought from MakerBot in the USA. I'll give that turn it on. I've only got two of the axes wired up. The, uh, had a bit of a problem with the uh, stepper driver on one of my boards. It somehow blew up, I don't know why. So I go get myself a new stepper driver. I'm currently using a SparkFun seal adapter. It's connected to USB. But I've also got a Bluetooth module. And I've actually got the Bluetooth module working, but not currently right at this stage because I'm using the serial port as a debugging device, but when this is in use, it'll be using Bluetooth for the very simple reason of I have a doorway at my computer, so I can't exactly have a 3D printer running in the middle of the night with a cable that goes across crosses the ground to my computer. This project is actually following the open source movement so I am actually using a RepRap firmware and RepRap host software I've made up a dummy extruder which is just basically a pipe I found wrapped with uh, captain tape from work and that's wrapped with micro wire a thermocouple and of course, I'm using a thermal couple sensor, which I also bought from MakerBot. Uh, just to show you that it actually does work, I'll move this uh, Y axis. This is just dropping it by 10, ten steps, or 10 millimeters per second. And this is the X axis also moving. And of course, with a high gear ratio, it moves at less than half the speed. So, when this project is ready for calibration, I'm going to have a bit of a, a drop in my hands because I've got to have two different scanners running at diff two different speeds. Now, you may be wondering why there is no 
z axis on this? Well, the reason for that is because of this thing. This is my extruder, which is in currently in process. It uh, just uses a NEMA 17 motor. And this was the general idea, was to use a bracket, which is holding down thermal, thermal brake. And of course you've got a geared wheel, which is held down in place and forced onto the filament, filament by this spring-loaded idle wheel. Just real basic. Just use a spring and a, uh, an L-shaped block. The uh, great thing about using the flat bed scans is they use these light bars. Both axes have got one, and I tend to use that to light up the project when it's, when it's in use. So it'll be nice and bright. And now, this will be sitting roughly down here. Or rather, like that. And so, this will move along the Y axis carriage and the bed move in the X axis separately. Now the, the Z axis I can't get done until I've got the extruder done. Currently the problem is getting a hold of some high temperature plastic. This currently is nylon which, I, which uh, my mates had lying around so this is currently nylon which I'm using. Uh, it's going to be used changed to another material which is used for handles on saucepans. Uh, I just got word today that my mate has actually managed to machine that up for me and so I'll pick that up on Friday. So that, with that done I just had to get the barrel made up and the nozzle made up.